Mustafa Abu Shagur is the former Prime Minister-elect of Libya. He joins me live now from Washington. Thanks for joining me. We've spoken before about the situation in your country. Yes, Let we... Me just... I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Let me just ask you, you just heard what the foreign minister said, that A, it takes time, and B, we need international support. How much time does Libya have to get its security situation in order? I mean, first of all, I would like to uh, uh, condemn the abduction of our prime minister, and I'm very pleased that to see that he is uh, free and safe. Uh, the, 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 uh, of course, the challenge of security in Libya it has been uh, from the beginning, from day one, after the, uh, uh, the liberation of Libya. And, uh, and at the beginning, it was some improvement over the first year. But unfortunately, over the last six months, there was a deterioration in the security in general. Uh, by the increase of the assassinations. Uh, we have almost about 80 assassinations that took place, especially uh, in, in, the, in the east part of the country. Why and is there the an increase? Why, why did that happen over the last six months? Uh, over the last six months, I think there is, there is a, uh, uh, the, the, uh, some of these um, military formations or the Thuwar uh, revolutionaries, uh, whom really, are, many of them really, they were not really revolutionaries. Many of them are really criminals or former criminals. They have gained so much power. And uh, especially since the, um, uh, the, the uh, police and, and the army uh, formation is, is taking a little bit longer time. So those people, they became far more powerful and they started to challenge the state. And also at the same time, there is uh, uh, some of these assassinations and so on. Really, they were revenge for things that took place in, back in the 90s and, and, All right. and, and so on. Well, and uh, so, so this is uh, it's very unfortunate that we have at this moment, especially over the last few months, this deterioration. Uh, and also at the same time, this reflected also in, in many aspects of the life of the Libyans, I mean, uh, services. And, uh, and, and the problem really, people f realize or find out that, that, that the, uh, our National Congress and also the government uh, really are not helping. They're not being able to take the country out of the current situation. Well, right. And uh, I think what's stunning also is that this particular group of militants seem to have been allied with a part of the government, the Minister of the Interior. How do you break that link? How do you break that habit of various militias working for and against various different parts of the government? Yeah, th this is this is the, f the very unfortunate fact is that uh, this group uh, again, which right now claim that they are the one who abducted the prime minister, uh, they are part of the uh, Supreme Security Committee, which is really part of the uh, uh, Ministry of Interior. Uh, this this committee, which right now is uh, made out of more than a hundred thousand uh, people, who uh, uh, some of them they were uh, fought during the revolution and others who really they just joined for many other reasons. So, uh, but unfortunately that nobody has uh, really control on them because uh, when they got into this uh, Supreme Security Committee, they really they came as groups. So they kept their groups are intact and that's really the challenge that we have. And also at the same time, those people, they were not trained as police officers.